we got to Alright, what's up guys? East Coast Octane here. Today we're going to talk about my exhaust on this 93 Civic with the K20A Accord Euro R swap. I've had a lot of questions about what my exhaust is set up as and this car is kind of set up as a sleeper. So the exhaust sounds factory or close to factory and then has an electronic dump when you want to go a little bit faster. So we're just going to go through the whole exhaust. You know, I'm using a little different camera setup today. Hopefully you can still hear me well. Should make it so you can see what's going on a little better than when it's hooked to the side of my helmet. Alright, so the first thing, we'll just start at the block here. We have a K-tuned header, it's just a stainless steel header. I have it heat wrapped because it runs so close to the firewall and so close to heater hoses right there. I wanted it heat wrapped to get, keep some of that heat out of the engine bay. Next thing we've got, and please excuse my car, it's filthy right now because I drive it every day and it's been kind of raining recently. Alright, as you can see the wrapped the wrapped header comes down. Uh, that one comes with a built-in flex pipe, which is really nice. Okay, the other thing, the pipe that I used, I wanted to be able to put this entire exhaust together myself. I didn't want to have to take it to an exhaust shop, so I just went on eBay and ordered like the cheapest stainless steel exhaust for this car I could get. Knowing that the fitment is normally terrible, but I just I really just wanted it for the pipe and the flanges, and I'm gonna I cut up everything else and put in the components that I wanted. So that's how I got the pipe. It had about the right bends in it. Um, and then the sections that normally wouldn't be long enough or something, I was going to cut them up and fab something anyway. So I didn't have to worry about that so much. So you can see we've got K-tuned stainless steel header. has a little flex pipe already built into that, which is nice. And right after that we have, the fun part, is the electronic dump right here. Now again, this is, I got the dump, the Y-pipe and the dump valve off of eBay, just like some cheap stuff. I will say I did have some problems with it. I had to replace it once because it kind of fell apart. But the second one I got, I replaced a lot of the hardware. I just went to my local hardware store and got higher grade hardware and then lock, used high heat Loctite on everything. So, and it's held up much better. It probably leaks just a little bit when it's closed. But I'm not worrying about that too much. I figured if it's going to be under the car and it's probably going to get beat up every time I go over speed bumps and pull into weird driveways and stuff, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it because it's going to get torn up eventually. So that's what I use there. Also, uh, the, the eBay flanges are known to kind of leak. So I use some exhaust sealant on all of the flanges all the gaskets and the flanges, I use some sealant and then bolt it together and they seem to be holding up pretty well right now. Alright, so we've got the dump and then after that I got a, a spun catalytic converter. I wanted to have a cat on it so I didn't smell like a tractor. So I went ahead and put a cat on. After the cat is the Vibrant Ultra Quiet Resonator. Those really hush down an exhaust. I would definitely recommend them if you're looking to have a quiet exhaust. Even if you're running a, a full straight through exhaust, those things really quiet it down. It sounds really good. Okay, so then we get back, bend through the back, and then the fart can that came with the eBay exhaust was trashed. We threw that in the garbage. Well, what I ended up using for an axle back is the OEM muffler off of a 2007 Civic SI. Uh, all I had to do, it, I mean, it, mount, it bolted right up with no leaks. The only thing I had to do is just weld in the supports for it. So I cut off the supports that came with it and welded it on. And actually, I bought this brand new from Honda for about the same price people were selling kind of ragged out rusty ones on eBay. Uh, just kind of on a whim, I went to Majestic Honda online and... Uh, <clears throat> check to see what it'd be on that. And I, I don't remember the exact price, but it was really reasonable. It didn't come with the tip. Everybody likes having that chrome tip on there. But because of the type of setup I was going for, I'm not worried about the tip. I just kind of cut it reasonably flush with the bumper and left it at that. So, all right, so you guys kind of see the components I've put in here. And I don't have the nicest welder. Uh, it's actually kind of a cheap welder. So I welded it together, and then the welds... Anybody who's actually a welder will probably say my welds look like crap. 
and I would have to agree with them. But it doesn't leak too bad, and I'm, I'm happy with that. I didn't have to bring it to anybody else. So, And I did put some sealant over the welds. That's what you see that's kind of cracking and flaking off. That was something to just go over the weld to kind of seal it up a little bit better. All right, well, I know what you guys really want to see is you want to see that dump in action. All right, so the, the switch to operate this is just a little rocker switch that came with the kit. I got it mounted right here on the dash. And it's simple, I mean, one way is open. Now it's open. And the other way is closed. guys well I hope that gave you a little bit of insight into how I put together my exhaust on this car if you have any more questions feel free to put them in the comments or just shoot me a message on Facebook or something and I'll see if I can't help you out if you're trying to do a similar setup or just have some other questions about it all right guys well I'll catch you in the next video keep the questions coming if you have more questions about this swap how I did it um, I'm gonna keep making videos about stuff that y'all have questions about so probably in a little while I might do a short video about my dash cam. I've had a few people ask me about that, so maybe I'll do a little review on that dash cam. All right, catch you guys in the next video.